This video is about how I fit everything I need to make a YouTube video inside this camera backpack. Now, the absolute first thing that you need when you want to make a YouTube video is a camera. This is a no-brainer. I use the Canon EOS M6, which is a powerhouse of a camera. It's not maybe the, got the highest resolution, it can't even record 4K, but for my purposes and ba for basically anyone else that's looking to start making YouTube videos, it is an awesome camera. Plus, I have the Silver Edition, which looks incredible. It looks like a film camera, and so people have actually gotten it confused with one and I've been like, no, actually it's got a screen back there. It's got a screen that flips backwards so that I can see myself while I record and it's got an input for a microphone so I can pull out a Rode Video Micro, a lav mic, whatever mic I'm using at the time for that situation, I can plug it into the camera and it's good to go. The second essential that I need to make a YouTube video and not everyone needs this kind of thing, but I need a tripod about this size. This of course isn't the one I'm using. I'm using my primary tripod right now to record this video. I will like do some b-roll of the tripod right now. You can see what it looks like. It attaches to the camera bag on the outside. It can get a little bulky. I've actually had it flagged by airport security once. They just wanted to check out the metal handle. But all in all, a tripod is a must have for any video maker that makes videos like I do. Of course, if you're just a vlogger, then you might just want a smaller tripod like this one. You don't necessarily need the larger one. I actually carry both because I like to be able to put a microphone on top of one tripod and the camera on top of the other, and I'm golden. This is basically the equivalent of a Gorilla Pod. I put my own red uh, silicone ends on here to make it less slippery. It's the ProMaster Crazy Legs Mobile, and I've found it to be just fine. Nothing exceptional about it except the ball head is actually really quite nice and I can put it on another tripod and use it. That tripod is a ball head tripod, but it's a good tripod if you use your cell phone as your camera. You can flip it up like that and it's got a clamp integrated into it as well as a hot shoe for a microphone or a flash, but you wouldn't be using a flash with your cell phone. Um, at least not an external one. But if you're using a cell phone to record your videos, then this is a good tripod for that. But you're also gonna need a secondary tripod for your microphone, unless you, of course, just put it on the top of here and leave it with the phone itself. I would discourage that though, because a general rule of thumb is to get the microphone as close to your mouth as possible because it provides better sound quality and there is less extra noise. If you're using this tripod to vlog, then it will be perfectly fine because putting the microphone here is a little bit cumbersome and it looks absolutely horrible, but if you're set up in a studio like I am or if you're traveling somewhere and you want to make a video inside an Airbnb, then you're going to want to put your microphone close to your mouth. So if you're working at a desk, pop, pop this on the desk, get a little adapter so that you can plug a hot shoe or cold shoe into a um, quarter inch tripod thread, it sits on the desk, points to your mouth, you're good to go. The third absolute must have that I use for making videos is the ProMaster Slide Lite um, camera strap. Now you could use any camera strap for this, but you basically just have to click, click it on. It takes about two seconds to put this on and, or take it off of your camera and you can use it hold the camera at arm's length and stabilize the camera for super smooth footage without using a gimbal or a steady cam or anything like that. It's a bit bulkier than your normal camera strap, but I can do a full comprehensive review on this if you want it, but I'm, I'm sure there are others out there by other YouTubers. I don't mind if you like go watch other channels. Like, I, I don't care. The next thing that you need to make YouTube videos is a microphone, and this one is right here. It's in the frame now because I just pulled the, um, mic boom mic stand down this is the rode video micro i have a completely separate video on that coming out it will be linked up in either of these corners i'm not sure which i think it's this one and it will also be at the end of the video once it comes out now this is casting a weird shadow on my face but it's a great microphone and it's a good one if you want to start a YouTube channel and you just need something to get the job done rather than your internal mic, which sounds horrible. Now that I've popped that back out of frame, we can talk about the backpack itself. This is the ProMaster Impulse 7335. I have it in black because I found it at Goodwill for $20 instead of its MSRP of 80. It's a good backpack. It's not as big as I would hope. It can't hold a huge laptop like some other bags can, but there's 
covers quite a considerable amount of space. I can hold three, I could hold three or four lenses in here and still have space for my camera and anything else that I really want. Here's a bonus thing that you need for making YouTube videos and that is an SD card case. Please get one of these. They're like $10 and you can hold any SD cards that you want. I don't know why I have some of these one gigabyte SD cards in here. They're older, but hard case, waterproof, can't get damaged. And it, this one holds, what, 12 full-size SD cards and 24 micro SD cards. So you're basically good to go for all of your storage of SD cards or micro SD cards that you could ever want. Now, I don't have a portable solid state drive to use to back up footage, but I would consider getting one if you like have a job but still wanna make videos. I don't have a job, so I'm not making enough money to spend like $150 on something to back up my footage. I back it all up on the computer and still keep it on the SD card for safekeeping until I have the video published. Once the video is published, I leave it on the computer and delete it from the SD card. The last absolute essential that I need to make a YouTube video is this light right here. This is the VidPro RGB 152 pocket light. It's an incredible light. I'm gonna turn it off because it's extremely bright, but let's see how this fares if I turn all the lights out in my studio and well, I'll just shine this on my face. So I can barely see there is some light coming in from the cracks in my windows, which is why you can still see me, but I'm gonna pop this light. I'm gonna hold it at arm's length. Boom, extremely bright. It's gonna take a moment to focus, but now my ISO has dropped down to a reasonable level and it's not super grainy. This is an extremely bright light. It's not even at 100%. Let's pull it up. This is as bright as it can go. It can also go into different colors. You can choose the color, you can put it in a color mode and have it fade between colors. There's a whole bunch of stuff to be done with this light. I would suggest getting a light like this, even if it's not the exact same one, this is, video isn't sponsored. So like, yes, get a, get a light. It's, it's invaluable, super helpful, get a light. Now that my set looks normal again, I can talk about how I make YouTube videos with this little amount of stuff because I'm using a giant softbox light right now and some other lights over to my right to brighten up my entire face and body. But you don't need all of that. We're going to transition over to a different me in a different area of my house where I don't have stuff like this set up. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I can make a YouTube video in practically any location with this backpack setup. In this instance, we're gonna imagine that I'm in a Virgo or an Airbnb, and this is what I'm working with. Couch right here, instruments right here. I don't. Now, I don't want to be against that wall because there's a window right here and there's not great light coming from here. There's nothing to be seen here. There's a window there and here, but not directly that way. So I don't want to be sitting on the couch. I do not want to have just a mirror reflecting everything in the background. So what I'm going to actually do is set this up a bit like this. Start recording with this camera as well because it'll work a little better. Now you might be wondering how I'm going to get this place well lit. Well, the first thing I'm, I'm going to do is open both of these sets of blinds so that there is a little more light coming into the room. And windows are actually the best source of light you can come across because there's light coming from a wide, like a wide place in the window, it's basically just a giant softbox. So now that that's a little bit better lit, I'm going to brighten up this side of my face a little more with this lamp right here. And let's put this one on as well, on set. That you can see it in the camera, how does that look? Quite nice, I would think, but I'm gonna turn this light on as well. This is CFL, and it's gonna take a little while to turn on properly. But that's what I am thinking with regard to our frame. I think that looks quite nice. What this lacks is a bunch of color. 
So I'm just going to grab this light. That's a good place to start. But we need to worry about audio. The audio is plugged in. So now that it's plugged in, I need my small adapter that I put in earlier that can just slide onto the bottom of here. Attach it to the small tripod. And point it at my mouth and we are good to go. And so once I'm ready to record a video, I can, I can scoot this a little closer. Sit back, relax, and start talking to a camera. This is how I'm going to explain to you a few tips that are going to make your videos exponentially better. Please don't be afraid to have your microphone in the frame. It's no secret that you're making a video, so keep it that way. Don't try to hide the fact that you are using equipment to make your videos higher quality, because if you tried to hide it, it's gonna compromise the quality of your video in audio. It's no secret that I use microphones. It's no secret that I have camera and I, that I think about lighting. I'm sitting in front of windows right now and it is working great. But the most important thing is make your videos as high quality as possible and don't be afraid to show your audience how you're making them. It's not a huge secret. They can figure it out pretty much any way they want. Now, sorry that I went on that rant, but it is truly important to not compromise the quality of your video by trying to hide things like microphones or lights or other cameras. It's not a huge deal in my opinion. Now I'm gonna share with you a few things that make your videos much, much better with very minimal effort. Number one, good audio quality. Now, it's ex extremely important to have better audio quality. When I hadn't set up the microphone earlier, you could definitely tell the audio was way out of whack. And if I were to unplug this microphone right now, it would go crazy. I'm not gonna subject you to that torture, but believe me, get an external microphone. This one was about $30. I got it on eBay. It was brand new in the package. It has changed my life. It has made making YouTube videos so much easier because I can just set it up and go rather than having to put a lav mic under my shirt and make sure that it's plugged in properly. And my lav mics were made for smartphones, so I needed the adapter and I needed an extension cable and I needed to make sure that it wouldn't break off inside the camera. This setup is way easier. If you're using your smartphone, great. Get one of these microphones. Get quality equipment so that your videos are high quality. Now I'm not saying spend thousands of dollars to get a boom mic and a boom mic stand and get all of that done. No, you can hack stuff. I use this microphone for pretty much everything and it works great. So I assume that it will work for most other creators out there too. Secondly, light your videos well. Now I am using a lighting setup that is super cheap. I have bought one light for this and it was $100, but there are cheaper ones on the market. I had a gift card to a camera store, so I bought this light. I decided to treat myself. It has been super helpful, but you don't need this light. It is unnecessary. I can make this video just as well without using that light. It's just the frame kind of tends to be a bit bland, especially because the wall and the couch are the same color. So, I pop this light back there. Boom, there's a little bit more depth. You don't need a bunch of fancy equipment to light your videos well. You just need a bunch of lights or you need to sit in front of a window like I'm doing right now. By the way, these things are listed in order of importance. It is more important to get better audio quality than better video quality because even if my quality is subpar, if my sound is good, you can still listen to me and take me seriously. If my audio is bad, you want to leave immediately. The first two things are about technique. Light your video well. Make sure that it's not distracting. Give the video a little bit of depth. But the third thing is about you and you alone, which is to enjoy yourself. If I was not enjoying making these videos, these videos would not be enjoyable to watch. If I am enjoying myself, which I am tremendously, then I'm hoping that that is going to help me make videos that are extremely entertaining, or at least moderately entertaining. I'm doing what I'm passionate about, which is a wide variety of things. I like cameras, I like science, I like a bunch of stuff. This video is the part of me that loves cameras, and so I'm going to pour my heart and soul in th into this video, and like, I'm gonna enjoy it. 
and hopefully you're going to enjoy it. And if, of course, if you don't like this type of content, then of course you're not gonna enjoy it. But people are going to enjoy it as long as you enjoy the process of making the video. So in summary, there are only a few things that you need to, in your camera bag to make good videos. Camera, two tripods, one for your microphone and one for your camera, a nice light like this, and that's basically it. That's all I'm using at the moment. Of course, there are a few other essentials like your lens cap and an SD card case, but those are sub-essential for making videos. You, This is all you need. I'm thinking about what I have right now used to be making this video. Two tripods, one camera, one microphone, one adapter, and one light. That's six things that are essential to making a YouTube video, at least in my book. The rest can be salvaged from anything. I'm sitting in front of a window with some more lights around me right now, so it might look a little bit weird given the daylight balance of the window versus the indoor light of that, but it works out. It's not perfect, but it works. Now, like I said earlier, if you're doing different styles of shooting, you're going to need different tools. That's why I have the camera strap, which is gonna help stabilize my video. I also have a lav mic in case I want to use that on somebody. But all you really need to make a good quality video are three things. The camera, a good place to set it, so a tripod, a table, really anything, and good quality audio. The rest, you can make up on the fly. Window, lights, boom, my lighting is done. Plus that, that can be an investment that you make later. So if you're not making good quality videos, don't be like, oh, I don't have the money for the gear. If you, of course, if you don't have a decent quality microphone, then yes, you should invest in one. But further than camera, microphone, tripod, you don't need those things to make good quality videos. You can improvise. Just take a moment to think about, okay, where is my light coming from? Is it coming from a wide area or is it from one point? Is my background, does it have depth? Is my audio going to sound good? Once you think about all those things, you'll, your videos will get much, much better. Also, you need to provide energy towards the camera so that it's not just you sitting here talking to a camera with neutral expression and neutral tone, and that gets boring. No, you need to express to the camera your feelings or your opinions or whatever you're trying to make into a video. You need to put, put it forth with energy. So in summary of the summary, one, you only need a few things to make a good quality video, and two, to make a good quality video, those few things matter very little. I could be using a different camera, and as long as I had a good good quality audio, I'd be fine. I could be using my cell phone to record this video. All you need is the skills to make the video. So the three things that you need to think about when you're making a video are, one, is my audio going to sound good? Two, is my video gonna look good? That includes lighting and framing and everything else. Number three, am I going to enjoy myself enough that the video is going to be enjoyable? And that's basically all you need to do to make a good video and post it on the internet. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to get millions or hundreds of millions of views I mean, look where I am. But it will not be a bad video. It'll be a good starting place, and then once you figure out if you enjoy it or not, you can start investing in other things. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed my minimalistic video setup for when I'm on the go. If you have a similar method of making videos, but with slight variations, let me know. I want to hear about how you make videos so that I can make better videos. And if this video helped you make better videos or get discovered or whatever, let me know. I would love to hear about it in the comments. If you want to see more videos like this one, hit the like button because it will let me know that this video is enjoyed and I should make similar ones. And if you want to be notified of my future content, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. Of course, you don't have to. It's not really going to help me unless I get like a thousand of you to do that, but it's going to help you if you enjoy seeing these videos. Now that I'm done talking, you can subscribe right here. There's my latest video right here and this video YouTube thinks you will enjoy the most. Stay tuned for more and thanks for watching.